So now we can make two-way decisions and uh, then uh, arbitrary complicated decisions can be created as a nested and uh, sequential uh, network of uh, simple two-way decisions. But uh, the next thing to look at is to combining these simple decisions to make uh, more complicated decisions. And uh, for that purpose, let us look at uh, the problem of uh, finding the median. So uh, given three values, not the largest one, not the smallest one, but uh, the one in the middle. So for example, so these three can be given in any order. So 14, 42, 17 and uh, 99. But then also the order shouldn't matter. So uh, 17, 99, 42. So we should be getting uh, the same 42 from both. And, and we did. So at the median, not the largest of the three, not the smallest of the three, but the, the one that's in the middle. And then the case for the equality. So what is the median if some of the values are equal? What happens is that you imagine if you sorted these three values while keeping them separate, what would be the middle element? So middle element would be 17. Well, we don't know which one of these it is, but these two are equal. We cannot tell these two 17 apart anyway. So when whichever is returned as the answer is gonna be just as good for us. But the interesting thing here in the median function that we haven't seen before is uh, combining the small conditions into bigger ones. So that we, we don't have to write this as a humongous network of uh, two-way decisions. We could theoretically always break this down, but, uh, but uh, there's, there's just no point in it. So uh, we can make these individual conditions, these steps of the ladder, to be more complicated, more expressive, more powerful. So first thing, there's a couple of things to notice here is that the Python is very friendly, modern languages tend to be, but the older languages went this friendly, they, miss, they would misread this situation, that uh, just like in a mathematics uh, textbook, so we can change these uh, inequalities, so saying that a is less than or equal to b, uh, notice uh, the less than or equal symbol, uh, so because uh, the, the syntax of this language is predates uh, Unicode historically, so a Unicode of course does have all the mathematical symbols, actual less than equal character, but uh, so just using the basic uh, ASCII characters from the past, so less than equal is uh, combined with the two separate characters, but uh, so at the same time A is less than equal to B and B is uh, less than equal to C. But then uh, combining simple conditions with the propositional logic connectives, the, those are AND or and not, and uh, all the others you can actually build out of this. Everything breaks down into two-way decisions. As long as there is a way to do that, so everything is uh, built on top of that elementary operation. So when you have a condition of the form something or something, so either one, but uh, this is the, what is called an inclusive or so both. So uh, uh, they could both be true. And uh, as long as one of these conditions is true, so then the whole thing is true. Or we could say, uh, like for example, or one is uh, less than zero. So uh, it doesn't actually change anything. We know that this cannot be true. But uh, so as long as any one of these is true, so uh, then the result is true. So here we are testing for median, the simplest way that the testing for B is that the median, so by definition it's between A and C, possible equality included, but remember, so A and C can be given in any order, so we have to do this test both ways, so this one implicitly assumes that A is minimum and C is maximum, but because it can be other way around, so either or, so we are happy, so we get the B as the answer. And if we get past the first hurdle, so the fact that the first condition in the ladder was false, we can now take it to the bank. We don't need to test that again. We know for a fact that it's true for the fact that the execution is at the line 4. So then we're going to be testing whether A happens to be the median. So we're not actually using any of the previous knowledge for anything. So this could be organized into a smaller decision network, but there's no point in it. Now that problem itself is, a, is an interesting exercise in general, but that's a topic for later. But now we're just simply testing might A be the median 
uh, according to their definition between B and C and again we have to test uh, both ways so if so return A and uh, so it's not a law of nature that uh, the last step of a ladder is always an unconditional else theoretically you can have a condition there so then if that's false so then nothing happens but sometimes nothing is the right thing to do anyway so then that's exactly what we want so sometimes nothing can be a cool hand uh, no, that's enough joking okay so then so from the fact that B is not the median and A is not the median and the fact that something has to be the median so we, ha we have no choice for the something so the fact that uh, it's not B or A so then it has to be C now to contrast uh, let's uh, look at another way that uses a different connective the connectives are tricky so and and or we al you always got to be careful which one uh, you mean because uh, uh, unless your logic is redundant to begin with and it you don't, it's not wrong but uh, you're just doing something else wrong so if your logic is redundant to begin with so you can never replace an and with an or or vice versa you always change uh, the behavior of your logic so uh, as simple as it seems so you always can uh, think carefully do you mean to say and or or uh, or or so uh, here we say to be a maximum at the same time a has to be greater than b and has to be greater than c so if we turn this into an or so then we would say that the maximum as long as uh, somebody is lower than you so that's not the very very same thing at all so and is the correct so knowing that the a is the maximum so a, then it cannot be the median something has to be the median which one so whichever is larger of b or c and again so in case of equality if these are equal maybe if a is equal the same matter so as long as we return one of the equal values so the caller cannot tell them apart anyway so they don't know which one we return so whichever is the larger of b and c and then the symmetric uh, branch for the next step testing maybe a is the minimum so at the same time again notice and not or and uh, a is less than b a, a less than c both at the same time a is not the minimum therefore what is the median the one that's not the maximum therefore the one that's a minimum of b and c so a max and min uh, so here is two new python functions that often come hand uh, they often uh, replace a decision so notice we could have let's just uh, try so if b is less than c return c otherwise uh, return b so at the maximum uh, there well inside the maximum if you imagine how you would write that so there is like a if else hidden inside the function so now we just wrote the if else uh, explicitly so if b is uh, less than c so then we're supposed to return c just a quick check the n and the b so this wouldn't uh, change uh, anything at all and uh, the third part so then uh, once uh, uh, it's not uh, something so something has to be the median a, and a has to be something so if a is not the minimum and a is not the maximum so uh, without further ado uh, we return a so uh, then uh, uh, this now demonstrates uh, the logical connectives and and or so this can uh, you can create arbitrary complicated conditions as you'll see from the next example uh, and uh, the nesting so uh, the bodies the actions to be executed if the conditions true so these can be arbitrary sequences of statements and uh, you can nest so this is how you create the decision network so if, if this uh, fork on the road takes you here so then you'll come to another fork on the road another condition decides how you continue so this way we can create the branching a tree structure of decisions leading to different outcomes and uh, some branches so because they continue to exactly the same way so then those branches as you see they can they can join and, and have that in common.